Okay, let's start putting this rig together. Um, like building the controllers, I'm going to start towards the bottom of the rig and work my way up. So I'm just going to hide out the job at the moment. I need to go show people joints. I might need to show other things along the way as well. I will actually actually people need to be able to see IK handles. And I need to be able to see possibly locators as well. Um, so, right, let's have a look at the leg. I'm going to start with the left leg. So, the general thing is we want to be able to have the foot pinned to the ground. So, you want an IK in there, so inverse kinematic chain. I'm going to go to the rigging bit here. This is the IK chain thing. You see how important it is. Locators, joints, IK chains, skin. Uh, I'm actually pretty much in that order. So, IK chain there. Go from the hip joint to the ankle joint. Right. And there's our IK chain, and you can see what it does. If I go W, select to move, you can see that it controls the position of the knee with me dragging around the ankle. Uh, at the moment though, it doesn't help control the foot because the foot dangles at the end. So we can change how that works. Um, we need more IK chains. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the IK chain. We're going to go from the toe to the toe end. Right, okay, that's good. And we're going to go IK chain and we're going to go from the ankle to the heel. Okay, that's good. Right, we have our extra IKs in. Right, now we need to have things rotate from the right place. So the foot controller in general, you see its axis is there. We want the foot controller to rotate from the heel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that by hitting D and then I go V and I'm going to snap it to the heel there. D and that's good. And so now the foot controller goes from the heel. Now the toe controller wants to go from the toe joint. So go D, hold V, snap it to the toe joint there. And unfortunately the heel controller also wants to go from the toe, toe joint so I'm going to go D and I go V and snap that to the toe joint there and hit D. Right, so now the foot controller goes from the heel, the heel controller goes from the toe, the toe controller goes from the toe. Because basically the heel rotates around the toe joint and the toe rotates around the toe joint. So that's that. Okay. So the way that it works is that this IK end there is you select it, you select the toe controller there and you hit P. So now the end of the IK is parented to that and because this rotates around that joint there, turn up, you can see the toe joint goes up. That's just awesome. Now this one's a little bit more complicated because both both the IK wants to be sorry that's the ankle IK wants to be parented to the heel joint and the heel IK wants to be I'm coming a bit ship select wants to be parent to that. And so now the ankle and the heel rotate around the toe when you pick up like that, which is good. But then we want everything to follow the foot controller. So the heel control is parented. So it's P and the toe control is parented. So select one, shift select the other, hit P. So now you can see all of that works. So if I go W, the whole foot follows it. And if I go E, do, do that. Right. Now, the other thing that we want to do is we want the knee to point at that. So we want the ankle IK. Okay. And so the angle of the solver, the angle of the IK, that triangle there, is known as its pole vector. 
and we want the pole vector to be constrained to this guy over here. And so let's just make sure that's on the ground properly. That's cool. And so we want the object to be constrained as the second thing you select. So you select the target object first. Let's uh, use Q. Shift select the ankle IK and then go constrain pole vector. It's a really simple constraint. If you open it up, it's only got a value of one and go apply. See, we've now got that line there. So you will see that if I get a W to that, W move, you can see that the knee, that joint, joint chain follows that. So what we're going to do, we get this, shift, select the foot control, go P. So what happens is, if you rotate the foot, the knee goes with it. But then if you want to kind of go, actually, I need to tweak the knee position, you can do that. So it's, it's, a, it's a hierarchically controlled. Okay, cool. And then that foot controller also goes back to the top control. So I'm going to get the foot controller shift and select the top control and go P. And now if you get that, you get in all that gizmo together, which is brilliant. Okay to the foot, we're going to repeat it so you get it. So the left one, I'm going to make an IK chain, go from the hip to the ankle, and you get that IK chain there, cool. We're going to go again, IK chain, from the toe joint to the toe end joint. There we go. So we're going to get that. And then we're going to go again with the IK, go from the ankle joint to the heel joint hit turn that's fine okay so we've got those different things there now we need to sort out our axes we've got Q to select W to select move D and then hold V and get the foot controller and snap it to the heel get the toe controller snap it to the toe joint get the heel controller and snap that also to the toe joint. Cool, so they work. So the toe IK is parented to the toe controller. The heel IK is parented to the heel controller. And the ankle IK is also parented to the heel controller. And the toe controller is parented to the foot controller and the heel controller is also parented to the foot controller. So now W the leg works and the foot will rotate above the heel which is nice. Right, select the knee target, shift select the ankle IK, constrain pole vector Cool. And then the knee target is parent to the foot control, P, and the foot control is parented to the top control, P. And so we have now got our legs set up. And that is rigging the legs. Okay, so that's that bit. Uh, we'll do a nice short one. We'll do the hips and up the centre of the body next.